What's going on guys, it's Adonis. In this box right here, in this packaging is the Stead XP. Now this took forever to ship to me. Um, this is a Kickstarter campaign in 2015. I got it mid-December. Um, I haven't had a chance to unbox it yet since I've been moving and a lot of stuff that's going on. So we're gonna get into this, see what it's all about. Was it worth the 300 some odd dollars I paid two years ago? Um, we'll talk about the technology in it, why it could be interesting still but let's get into this box. Now, if you guys are fans of geek culture content, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you have notifications turned on so you don't miss any future content. All right, guys, so if you guys hear a dog barking, I'm actually house sitting right now. So we're gonna get into this bag. Inside of this bag is the Stead XP, which is probably the most long in tooth Kickstarter campaign I've ever supported. We're talking about two years, guys. Like this has been the longest time I've ever had to wait for a Kickstarter project. Super crazy, when it first was announced, it's essentially a piece of hardware that you attach to a camera and it tracks motion. And on top of that motion tracking, once you bring that footage into the computer, it has software that will analyze the motion in the video and then from there will counter the motion to stabilize your video. And some of the stuff that they showed was actually pretty awesome, but this was prior to having cameras that had in-body stabilization, so not really sure how this is going to perform nowadays with all these other you know, cameras that have that stuff built in. So we're gonna open this up. Um, I'm not joking guys, this is literally how this came. It came exactly like this in this beat box. Um, two years in the tooth, just thought it would have been handled a little bit better, um, but that's how it came. Open it up and we have the Stead XP inside. Um, I'm just gonna pull this out, take this out here. And there we go. That is the Stead XP, guys. That's exact, like it's tiny. It's supposed to fit on top of the camera on the hot shoe mount. And I'll read you what it says here because it's actually pretty interesting. Um, but we says uh, specifications give you the dimensions, the grams, is just 60 grams, recharge and removable battery by micro USB. So you can recharge the removable battery um, by micro USB, which is not provided. Uh, micro USB connection, mass storage device, micro uh, SD card, uh, type FAT16 or FAT32, which is not provided. That's weird that you have to program the footage, uh, the, the card into FAT32. That's weird as shit, um, but okay. Kickstarter edition, look at that guys. Kickstarter, we're official. Kickstarter edition, two years later. So we're gonna open this up and there we go. Stead XP, quick start guide, plug. Okay, so we have our SD. We have our battery that fits in here um, that this does not come with. Does it not come with a battery? Because it says that there's a removable battery, but there's no battery in here. So really strange. Why would you guys provide a device that does not have a battery? That's extremely interesting. That's weird in itself. Mark USB to charge the battery that it does not come with. I'm like really disappointed, like really disappointed. And this was like 300 and something dollars uh, two years ago on Kickstarter. So um, definitely not worth the investment. Um, it's actually pretty terrible. But yeah, there's a battery that's supposed to be in there, but not in there. Kickstarter edition, CES 2017. Stop playing yourself, guys. You guys put this up in 2015. So this is the weird part. So you get this, you pay 300 something dollars for this. I'm reading through the instructions. You pay, you have to buy one, an SD card, obviously, which is no big deal but then you have to buy a GoPro Hero 3 battery because it doesn't come with the battery. You have to buy the adapter, plug into your microphone jack onto the device and that's how it picks up the, the signal. Um, it's just really strange, like it doesn't make any sense. Like you buy this, but then you still have to buy everything else to make it work. Um, it's, just, it's, act, it's just pretty disappointing that that's the crazy, that, that's how it works, really strange. Um, but yeah, it's just really, I don't know guys, I just feel disappointed, uh, just whelmed I guess at the moment. We'll, we'll test it out and see how it works, but like needing to buy additional stuff for this to make it work when it should work out of the box. It's just a tad bit annoying having to purchase additional stuff for this um, and you waited for so long to get this. Um, it's just really strange. So um, I'll test it out. Let me know in the comment section down below if you guys want me to do any further videos on the Stead XP. Um, if it's something that 
if you have older DSLRs that don't have stabilization, you don't plan on buying like a new camera anytime soon, would this still be something that you guys wanna check out to stabilize your content? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you guys like the video, hit that thumbs up button, show your boy some love, and if you wanna check out my latest videos, the links will be right here to the side. All right guys, till next time, see you later.